Hey, Vine Community, Jeff here again. Time for another episode of the A Disease of Christian Rock. Uh, yeah, so this, uh, let me see up to P's now. So, the little series I started trying to run them uh, each consecutive Sunday and going through the alphabet basically of the vinyl releases I have that would fit into the Christian rock, hard rock, mostly hard rock and metal. I've, I've avoided dipping too much into the pop rock or the pop or the lighter rock side and so basically we're looking at the harder edge stuff to uh to go through this series at this point and like i said we are up to p now so uh whereas the previous letter we didn't have many n's and o's we do have quite a few p's so let's just jump right into this paradox paradox texas expand um basically just release some independent release release independent releases so they never really got signed or had any major albums but now in 2020 ish uh you know they were reissued on vinyl and cd officially um very high quality independent tapes back in the day and so they they really make well for uh both vinyl and cd releases so uh there you go there's the, that first one in power and glory and then this is the most recent that just came out a couple months ago the wrath uh which was a later release by the band and uh so glad to finally have this in an official capacity so great stuff there paramecium exhumed of the earth paramecium is an offshoot sort of kind of of mortification australian but more of a death metal doom doom death type band uh with former members of mortification doing some stuff there and so two of their albums have been reissued on vinyl all right now I debated back and forth. My wife even said, are you going to talk about Petra? And I'm like, it probably won't because Petra is more of a rock. Probably would fall more into the lighter rock side. But you got to mention Petra. Come on. They were like one of the first bands in Christian rock, you know, uh, that broke out of that. Uh, I remember back in the early 80s in church, people were like, have you heard Petra? They're like Christian hard rock. They really weren't. Uh, you know, not compared to the stuff I was listening to at the time, you know, the Motley Crues and, and all of that kind of Metallicas and stuff. Um, they were not. They were definitely edgier than Southern Gospel or other things. They were definitely edgier than most Christian music, but they were not. Now, later in their time, they did become very uh, edgier, you know, and so they would fit into a hard rock category, which is where I jumped into this. These are the later years in the 90s and stuff, and these were just reissued, reissued on vinyl like this past year. Um, most all the Petra stuff has been getting reissued recently. These are the more recent albums, the the later albums in the catalog um, that had never been on vinyl before. So, uh, you know, Unseen Power. And at this point, they were, you know, they're still commercial, but definitely, you know, edgier than a lot of their earlier stuff. They got edgier and edgier as John Slit, formerly of Head East, you know, joined the band back in the late 80s, early 90s. And anyway, they, they progressively got a little edgier. All right, and then we move into, I got two copies of this, Philadelphia Search and Destroy. This is the original copy. Um, Meridian, Mississippi band, upstate Mississippi, Louisiana, Mississippi, I'm pretty sure. At the time I discovered them, I lived in Biloxi, Mississippi. So they were kind of a local band, never saw them play, but they were up there. And so the Christian bookstores in the area carried them. Um, great stuff, just straightforward metal, uh, hard rock. I should say hard rock. People are not gonna, they're not gonna find metal. It, it's, it's a hard rock. They were, it was later reissued with updated cover art, later reissued on vinyl again. And then they had their first album, and I don't know which one is which now. Okay, this one. This is their first album, Tell the Truth. That was their second album. And uh, Tell the Truth, again, great stuff. And then that was reissued also on vinyl not too many years ago. And then there was a third album in the process that never got released, but then I hand, just a couple years ago, the tapes were pulled out, finished up, and, and was finally released. So there was a third album by the band after many decades away. All right, then we move into P.O.D., Payable on Death. And so um, they started off early on, you know, they were very heavy in the hip-hop sound, and they still maintain a lot of that uh, rap-type hip-hop vocal stylings, but they have progressed into more of an alternative hard rock-type aspect. Um, this is probably their most popular album when they really got a lot of radio airplay, Youth of a Nation, Boom, all of those songs. So, um, yeah, great stuff. 
I don't have, I don't know if a lot of their earlier stuff is even on vinyl. When Angels and Serpents, this is a reissue of this album. It did come out on vinyl and then it got reissued not too long ago. I think this is yeah, the other Walmart exclusive. So these are some of the later albums in later years. And then this is one of the more recent album circles. There is a brand new album that just dropped. Was there an album after this that I missed? Or is this, the, this was the last album and then the new album is dropping now. But there's quite a few that are uh, either not on vinyl or hard to find. There's one or two that are very hard to find now. All right, Place of Skulls. The only one I have by them is this live album that is more like an unofficial release. Uh, Doom-ish metal from former guitar player Pentagram, who is back in Pentagram or was back in Pentagram, uh, you know, in the past 10 years or so. Um, Place of Skulls did a handful of albums, a couple of them. At least one I know is on vinyl, and I saw one at the local store here. And it was like 80 bucks because they're very rare. Um, I think Southern Lord released some other stuff. I do have, and I didn't pull it, I have a 10 inch by them that's on Southern Lord Records. Um, so that is the other one I've got on vinyl is a 10 inch. But this live album came out not too terribly long ago. And um, so I was able to pick that up. Would love to get some of the other stuff if I could ever find it. This one I showed recently because it's a brand new reissue. The Princess Project's got Robert Sweet of Striper on drums. Straightforward, you know, hard rock with a female vocalist. Uh, kind of a project, definitely. I think it's more of a project than a band. I think I mentioned back then. Um, so, but, you know, fun stuff to have reissued now. Uh, and then the last one is Pylon. They are a doom metal band. Not death or anything, just regular doom metal type stuff uh, from Switzerland. And they have quite a few albums out, but only two, I believe, are on vinyl. And I only have one. And then they've got quite a few. They've been around for a while because one of their albums was had a 10th anniversary edition that came out two or three years ago. And so um, this is one of the later ones, but not the latest, I don't believe. So some cool stuff. Uh, again, there's not much of their stuff on vinyl, but I do have one of them. This is one of the Rocks Underground, limited to 150 copies. And I had number 97 of 150. That's it. That's it for the peas, though. Um, a little bit more than we had for the last couple letters. But, uh, yeah, so we'll move into the next letter next time around. Thanks for watching. Rock on and rock hard.